just when you thought you were busy, I met the guy who has figured out how to multiply himself four times, and we're about to hear his story. Get ready to meet Steven. Hey everybody, it's Robert Barber with Pinellas Live, and I'm here with Stephen Shrutt. And we're going to get in to the 7 to 10 minutes today. Pinellas Live is a 7 to 10 minute daily web show where we like to celebrate the exceptional life that is Pinellas. And how we do that is celebrating the people, the community, the events, the stories that weave this community together. And today we're going to get into some entrepreneurship because Stephen is a major entrepreneur, killing it in downtown St. Pete. I'm going to let him tell the story, but we are sponsored by the Muller and Barber Real Estate Team. And Stephen, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. Awesome. Uh, appreciate all the nice words. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about killing it. We're trying. Yeah. You know, we've got uh, four concepts now in downtown St. Pete, um, starting with the Avenue in 2011. And um, so, for those who don't know, restaurant concepts downtown, downtown St. Pete. So, sorry, interrupt. All good. Yeah, we we opened the Avenue in 2011, and um, you know. That was the goal and in, in, in the dream and everything, just to be successful in one place. And, um, and, and, you know, over the past few years, I think just wanting to expand a little bit and, and um, give this market more um, variety as well as more consistency. Right. And, you know, that's the thing that we try to do every day is be consistent and, and better than we were the day before. Right. You know, it, it, it sounds simple, but it's not. <laughs> it's, 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 it's tough to do. It's it's. It's tough to uh, be better every day, but you know that's that's our true goal is every day just to 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 give the consistency and to learn from any mistakes we make because they're going to happen. You know we we we're not perfect and and, and you know we want to grow and we want to do things the right way, but um, those those mistakes lead you to sure. being to be more better. successful. Exactly. You know, and so we use it as a tool. Well. We're right now at Park and Rec, so that's where we're filming and we're coming at you live from right now. But uh, Stephen does have some other concepts. But part of what I love doing about this show is hearing the stories. So tell me your story. How did you, I mean, how did you get started? How did this happen? What, what was the story? So I wanted to um, open up the avenue in, in Tampa. Um, I, I grew up in Tampa, wow. and, and my goal was to open up my own restaurant and bar in Tampa. I had a bar previous to the avenue, and um, I wanted to do more than just have you know, uh, drinks. I wanted to, to do a full service restaurant right. and bar. Right. Um, and wanted to build a place that felt like home. And um, I think that that's one of the main reasons why we've been successful is because, you know, we wanted to give people a place that they felt welcome. And all of our concepts, yeah. that's that's our main goal. Um, besides, you know, improving and being consistent, we want to do inviting concepts. Right. We want people to feel like they're part of it. And, and that goes with our staff. You know, um, people talk to me all the time, oh, you built such a great culture. I think culture is one of those things that um, doesn't happen overnight. Right. And it also happens with hiring the right people sure. and um, making them feel part of it. Yeah. But also the customer that walks through the door, you know, getting to know who they are as a person, yeah. um, making them feel part of what you're doing. And, and, and those, are, those are some of the keys to our success. And, and we do that at the Avenue and Kings, and, and, and we're starting to do it at Proper and Park and Rec. Um, and, you know, for, for us, we want people to always feel that it doesn't matter what day or time, yeah. you're always welcome with us. And, and, you know, whether you're coming to eat or drink or live entertainment or gaming now here yeah. at Park and Rec, you know, our doors are open. Come hang out with us. Yeah, it's one of the things that's so funny because for me, being in, in, in the real estate business, meeting with clients, I mean, I can't even tell you how many times I'm meeting with a client. I'm like, where do you want to meet for lunch? And they're like, hey, let's go to the Avenue. I mean, the avenue is like, out of five times, it's like three times out of five. It's like, hey, let's go to the avenue. We got to find a way to be five. I out know. Of five. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, but you know, it's interesting because I I'm, think it goes. I'm, I'm to, glad people are comfortable. Are. People are comfortable there, and and that's the way I've always felt going there is very comfortable. So Th that's how we want it to be, and, and and I'm glad that people understand it, and and um, that that's being uh, you know understood of, yeah. of what we're trying to do every day. Um, we want. Not only the avenue, all four of our concepts, and if we ever do more concepts, that's really one of the main core, uh, aesthetically and um, conceptually, what we want 
we want um, people to feel, going back to what I said, to feel part of sure. it, to feel welcome. You know, our doors are open for a reason. Yep. You know, we want people to walk through that. Sure. Well, you know, since you do have four concepts working right now with inside of uh, downtown St. Pete, I think you're, you kind of have a little bit of authority to talk about what's happening with food in St. Pete. So for, and we have a very wide audience. So maybe you can share a little bit about what you think is happening with food and where it's going and, and uh, give us some of your thoughts and vision. I think that, you know, the downtown St. Pete market is um, definitely uh, growing. Yeah. Uh, we've got more variety, which is great. Um, and we've also have a... Um, more knowledgeable consumer now. Uh, people want unique food yep. as well as um, you know higher quality and, and, and creative. Yep. And I think all of those help. Yep. You know, I think that pushes the envelope, which is what we want. Yep. You know, we want people to enjoy unique food and um, food that you know we put a lot into. You sure. know, over at Proper, we're doing all of our meats. Um, in house, we're right. curing them all. You know, for our charcuterie board and yeah. for certain things, we're doing house cured bacon. And you know, um, <coughs> excuse me, uh, I think that that's something that five years ago people didn't give a crap about <laughs> in this market. I, I'm being real. I, no, yeah, okay. people didn't care. Yeah, and you know, um, even when I first opened the Avenue five years ago, you know, we were, and we still do. We get fresh bread delivered every day. You know, I think people care now. Right. about that sure the consumer is more foodie yeah and more educated I think so. and more into um knowing what is being done in their in their market right so i think people take pride in it you know i think that people want to be able to say you know i go to the avenue i go to this place sure. i go to that place and they can they also take pride in it yeah you no, know, there's it's, this it's, definite restaurant community that i'm yeah, seeing i mean yeah. even between the owners at least the people i'm running into like like there's this like mafia thing going on where everyone's kind of talk. I mean, you guys are all coming together. It seems yeah. like there's a lot of good, a lot of good business owners in downtown St. Pete. But there's a, in, 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 you know, in the restaurant hospitality industry, um, you know, a lot of the people that I stay in contact with are other right. restaurant gotcha. and, and bar owners, and and um, I think that we all, um, for the most part, really do have a lot of respect for each other, mm -hmm. and as well as um, support one another. And we all um, focus on kind of staying in what we do, you yeah. know, not step on right. each other's toes, right. which is awesome that we all have that mutual respect for each other. It's not, oh, look, that place is doing well. Let's do what they do. No. Do what you do. Yeah. And, and, and be great at it. Don't just dabble in it. Right. You know, yeah. do it so you are owning it. Sure. Not, yeah. oh, yeah, we'll just do this because it works. Right. No. Stand by it. Right. Be your own. Yeah, be your own. But but also, um, I think you're giving it your all when you focus on it. Yeah. And, and that's that's something that we've always tried to do is, listen, we're not going to try to do everything under the sun. Mm -hmm. We're going to kick ass at what we do. Yeah. And if people do other things, that's great. It's fine. Let them do it. Yeah. You know, we want to enjoy it too. Yeah. I don't eat only at my yeah. restaurants. <laughs> you know? You <laughs> What, I, really? <laughs> I, I love brick and mortar and yeah. Z Grill and sure. Bratzi and yeah. all these great restaurants yeah. in downtown St. Pete. Yeah. Um, we're all consumers. Yeah. We all enjoy sure. Sure. more than just what we're doing every day. So you know? give us a quick run of your lanes then. So four concepts. So, so run me down each lane just real quick. What's each one? Each one. So the avenue for us is American. Okay. It is, uh, it's got a touch of Southern flair to it, mm -hmm. definitely. Sure. But um, we, we are an American gastro uh, restaurant and bar okay. that focuses on burgers. Okay. Um, that is our main focus, yep. and everything else is kind of built in around that. It. Um, we consider ourselves a social restaurant, mm -hmm. and, and most of our concepts are social gathering gotcha. type spots. We want people to enjoy more than just the food yeah. and more than just the drinks. It's a lot to do with our aesthetics, a lot to do with our staff that welcomes you and treats you like your home. And we don't push you out the door. You know, we want you to hang. Sure. You know, and, and Come on, turn and, the table, turn the table. No, that's no, not it. No, you know, that's why we've got a lot of TVs <laughs> yeah. in, in our concepts. Right. You know, with the Avenue having 30 TVs and two bars, yeah. and, you know, our, 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 our customer is um, somebody that we want to get to know. And um, 
we do that at all of our concepts. And, yeah. and so, you know, the avenue has been the foundation yeah. and has been the blueprint to what we do. Mm -hmm. um, but it is, uh, you know, we're not trying to do everything under the sun. We really focus on being the best at what we do. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, we opened up Kings. Yeah. And, you know, Kings to us was something that, okay, well, we can do a little bit family fun, a little bit more family forward, family friendly, um, by having milkshakes and yeah. kind of that twist on new age diner, yeah. but also with a more modern style food. So it has that, um, you know, twist on grilled cheeses yeah, and yeah. hot dogs yeah. and, you know, we do it. Push the envelope on the diner. Yeah, we push the envelope on the diner, but we did counter seating because we wanted the counter to be that diner-esque. Yeah. Welcoming yeah. hangout. I love watch it. them make milkshakes. Yes, awesome. You know, yeah. I want to watch you make my milkshake. Yeah. You know, I, I don't want to just all of a sudden there's a milkshake. Yeah. I want to see you make it, <laughs> and, and and the counter gives you that. Yeah. Um, so and you know, musically over there, we you know we touch on a lot of the hits, Americana, yeah. you know, music of '60s, '70s, '80s, '90s. You know, that are that's fun music for yeah. everyone. Um, and having that outside beer garden with ping pong, yeah. it's it's. You know, ping pong's a game that pretty much anybody, anybody. can play. Yeah. And it's fun and, and, and uh, you know, being in Florida, great weather, yeah. sit outside, enjoy a milkshake, a grilled cheese, play some beer, you know, or play some ping pong and um, enjoy a good beer. And um, our focus over there was to, to, to really um, support and uh, educate this market on local craft beer. So we, we only carry local craft beer on draft, yeah. and then uh, we've got a few canned beers right. um, that are the alternative yeah. if you're not in the mood for a, a draft beer. Gotcha. Um, and then... So then we got these two. And then we got these two. So uh, proper was something that I really wanted to do prior to King's. I wanted to do barbecue. Um, being in the South... Barbecue's an art. <laughs> I've learned <laughs> a lot. In the last... Year, 18 months, yeah. I think it is now. Yeah. I've learned a lot about barbecue, <laughs> which I'll be honest, has been one of the, the best parts about well, what, yeah, you about this it. Is, this I'm is not learning, on, which is what I love. Yeah, this is not on camera, but when I walked in, there was this whole conversation between Courtney, his ops uh, manager, and him talking about the meat and talking about you know just the flavor and where it was and how it was going on. And you know, he was in it, and I was like, that's kind of cool, that's awesome. I love it. Um, I'm somebody who likes different stuff every day. It's probably why I have four places. I, I don't like I don't like Groundhog's Day. Good movie, yeah, but yeah. not 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 how no, I want to live my life. Right, yeah. But um, I think that's that's one of the cool things about proper is learning about the barbecue and the in the cocktails and, and learning about what we're doing over there. And like going back to what I told you, you know, curing our meats. Yeah. It's cool to see them, you know, hanging yeah bacon and doing everything that they're doing and yeah. you know all the barbecue sauces are made from scratch and I mean it's it's an impressive um, uh, program that they're running over there and, and I'm, I'm I'm just sitting back watching <laughs> you know and, and I like learning from them yeah. um, there's you know once in a while I'll get in the kitchen and make some stuff just so I know how to do it yeah. I, I like being able to uh, dabble yeah. and, and you know, I like I like working with everyone. So I, if, if if you see me in the kitchen, it's not always because they need me. Yeah. <laughs> they probably like, don't. Oh, they they probably don't want me back there. <laughs> but but I like learning. I really do. I like seeing what they're doing. Yeah. Um, and I, I, I really enjoy um, understanding why we're doing certain things. Gotcha. Um, but yeah, proper for me was um, a concept that I wanted to do. I felt like downtown needed. A barbecue joint yep. and um, I felt like next door to the Avenue it fit and uh, we're, we're still expanding and growing it's eight weeks old yeah. you know we're, we're we're going back to you know trying to be better every day yeah. you know just like yeah. we try to do it all of our yeah. concepts but um, one of the, the neat things about proper is you know we're, we're looking at expanding you know what we're doing and, and you know, not just smoking on site, which we run our smoker every day um, outside of Monday currently, but but we are going to expand and open up on Monday soon. Um, and um, we've got a bunch of 
specials coming out. And, you know, we're getting ready to ramp up a lot of the things that we're doing um, for proper and as well as park and rec. And then uh, going over to, to this. Yeah, so let's jump into park and rec. So park and rec right here is, today. Uh, concept number four. Um, this was something that I've been interested in doing um, and bringing to downtown St. Pete. I felt like, you know, we've got a nice amount of really good restaurants. We've got a, a, a great amount of really good bars and clubs, mm -hmm. but I wanted to do something that's unique. And um, we always set out to do creative, unique, original concepts to this market. Yeah. Um, we're not the first barcade, right? and we're not claiming to be, but uh, we wanted to bring this concept to downtown St. Yeah. Pete um, and wanted to do it our way. Um, and we're, just like I said before, you know, we're still tweaking this. Yeah. This is not set. 100% to where we want it. Right. Neither is proper. Neither are Kings or the Avenue. Right. Right. And, you know, that's the thing, like, you know, with the Avenue being over five years old, if I wanted to just say we're successful, right. let I can it tell, ride, I can tell that's, not, that's you. not me. That's not you. You I know, can tell I want to find you. ways to improve. Right. Right. You know, we change our menu once to twice a year because we like to try things. And sometimes they don't work. And sometimes they're a huge success. Right. You know, so... We're going to always do that in all of our concepts um, and, and make sure that, you know, we're giving the consumer um, and our staff the, the best product and right. efficiency that we can do. You know, we want our places to be um, consistent for both sides of this. So we're a little bit over our time today, but we're okay with that because we're basically doing four shows in one today because we have four concepts we're reviewing with Steven. Wow. So hang out a little bit longer. <laughs> anyway. Um, one of the things we always like to do is, especially meeting people in the marketplace, no matter what they're doing, nonprofit, giving back, yeah. uh, working, whatever they're doing, entrepreneurs, um, anyone that may be watching this today or maybe 20 years from now that's thinking about taking a risk, what, what was, what's the wisdom? What is Stephen's wisdom about taking the risk? I mean, what, what, is, what is, is there? I mean, you just don't have that switch or you just, you go, just some wisdom. I think that you have to, okay. you know, and, and, um. I think every entrepreneur has been in that situation. Right. And um, last night I was on a, a panel with Leadership St. Pete, and it was awesome to learn other people's stories. But the one thing that was pretty consistent with all of us is that we went for it. Right. And I think that at the end of the day, we all have that in us. And I remember, you know, 10 years ago, having those discussions with my dad and right. my mom yeah. and being like, listen, I really... I got to do my own thing. I could go this path, but I really yeah, want to do and, this. And, and, you know, my dad um, has been probably the biggest um, influential person in my life as well as the person I look up to the most right. um, and talk to him daily for business advice, yeah. um, total, you know, mentor. Yeah. And um, for me, I always um, remember him being like, you got to figure it out. And, and, and I'm like, I know, You're like, I know, you know, like no shit. Yeah. Like, I get it, dad. I know I'm not, but you know, there's no easy answer, but, but trying to figure it out was the hardest part. But knowing that you have to do it your own way yeah. and, and going on your own, yeah. um, is the risk that I think everyone has to take. Sure. Um, and then once you're in it, you got to stay on it. Yeah. You know, there's no. There's really no off days, yeah. you know. There really, there really isn't. And um, you know, I'm big on yeah. that. That I was having a conversation this morning. Being so, relentless. I was having a conversation this morning. Someone's like, "Oh, thank God, you know, it's Friday." I'm like, "Friday? What? It? There is no Friday, right? For me, or for most people. I mean, if you're gonna make it happen, it's it's and, just two and days. Being in hospitality, I look forward to Monday <laughs> because. <laughs> It's the day to get our week set up right. for Friday. Reset. Right. Yeah. So Monday is huge for us because we're figuring out, okay, what went wrong over the weekend that we need to get ready for the next sure. weekend? How do we improve? Yeah. How do we repair things? Right. How do we, um, how do we uh, just become better and, and more organized and more efficient for you know the, the, the guests but also the staff? And so th those are the things that we really work on on Monday 
and then come Friday, you better have your shit ready. Yeah. You know, like, be ready. Because Friday, Saturday, Sunday, it's on. It's on. <laughs> so now it's lights, camera, action, basically. Yeah, yeah. And you have to be ready. You have to be prepared. So we look, we look forward to those, you know, Friday, most people who work Monday through Friday, 9 to 5, they're ready for happy hour. Sure. But guess what? We have to be ready for oh, them because they're yeah. coming yeah. our way. Exactly. So, you know, well, you hear that. <laughs> yeah, in hospitality, we don't, we don't have that, you sure. know. And um, it's kind of funny, like last night, uh, one of the, uh, the guest speakers at the event I was at, he said that when you stop looking forward to the weekend, you know you're in the right job yeah. or career right. because you're loving what you do. Yeah. And, and for me, that's it. And when he said that last night, I was like, he's exactly right. Because even if you do work Monday through Friday, right. if you love it, you're not having one put out the door for happy hour. Yeah. You, you, you're, the, you're the person who stays it's late. Your oxygen. You're loving it. Yeah. And yeah, we all need a day off. Sure. And that's yeah. great. But a lot of people look forward to Monday are the successful people and the people who are more independent yeah. and entrepreneurial, right, you know. Right. So um, I think that's where where I am and a lot of us are. Yeah. Well, guys, that's our time today with Pinellas Live. We're going to link up all the information about uh, all the four concepts down in the comments. Love for you to connect with Steven, get to know him better. Maybe you're looking for an opportunity or just maybe someone to pick uh, – pick his brain. I've loved spending this time with him and getting to know him. So uh, I really appreciate the wisdom, man. Appreciate it, bro. Thanks for Thank you very much. It. All right, guys, check out the next Pinellas Live. Uh, stay tuned. If you have any suggestions of things you want to see us cover, make sure you put it down in the comments. Interact, engage, get involved. And we always like to end our show by telling you that you're loved because everyone needs to hear at least once a day that they're loved. So we love you. Go out, have a great day. And uh, he's got to go to work. It's Friday. I work every day. Every day. <laughs> All right, guys, take it easy. Thanks.